Eglin Air Force Base AFB IATA VPS ICAO KVPS FAA LID VPS is a United States Air Force base in western Florida located about 3 miles 5 kilometers southwest of Valparaiso in Okaloosa County the host unit at Eglin is the 96th Test Wing, formerly the 96th Air Base Wing. The 96 terawatts is the test and evaluation center for Air Force air delivered weapons, navigation and guidance systems, command and control systems, and Air Force Special Operations Command systems. Eglin AFB was established 84 years ago in 1935 as the Valparaiso Bombing and Gunnery Base. It is named in honor of Lieutenant Col. Frederick I Eglin (1891–1937), who was killed in a crash of his Northrop A-17 attack aircraft on a flight from Langley to Maxwell Field, Alabama. Topic Overview Eglin is an Air Force Materiel Command AFMC base serving as the focal point for all Air Force armaments. Eglin is responsible for the development, acquisition, testing, deployment and sustainment of all air-delivered non-nuclear weapons. The base plans, directs, and conducts test and evaluation of U.S. and Allied air armament, navigation and guidance systems, and command and control systems. Severe weather testing of aircraft and other equipment is carried out here at the McKinley Climatic Laboratory. The residential portion of the base is a census-designated place, its population was 8,082 at the 2000 census. Eglin Air Force Base has 2,359 military family housing units. Unmarried junior enlisted members generally live in one of Eglin's seven dormitories located near the dining hall, chapel, base gym, enlisted club, and bus lines on base. Each individual unit generally handles dormitory assignments. Bachelor officer quarters are not available. Several units and one dormitory were being renovated in 2011. The base covers 463,128 acres, 1,874.2 square kilometers, 723.6 sqm. Topic: Scheduled airline service. Eglin is also one of the few military air bases in the U.S. to have scheduled passenger airline service as the Destin Fort Walton Beach Airport VPS is co-located on the base property. <laughs> Major units Topic: 96th Test Wing, 96 terawatts. The 96 terawatts is the test and evaluation wing for Air Force air-delivered weapons, navigation and guidance systems, command and control (C2) systems, and Air Force Special Operations Command systems. The Eglin Gulf Test Range provides approximately 340,000 square kilometers, 130,000 square miles of overwater airspace. The 96 terawatts supports other tenant units on the installation with traditional military services as well as all the services of a small city, to include civil engineering, personnel, logistics, communications, computer, medical, security. The 96 terawatts reports to the Air Force Test Center at Edwards AFB.
Topic 33D Fighter Wing 33FW The 33DFW Nomads is the largest tenant unit at Eglin. The 33FW is a joint graduate flying and maintenance training wing for the F-35 Lightning II, organized under Air Education and Training Command's 19th Air Force. First established as the 33D Pursuit Group, the wing's contribution to tactical airpower during its 50-year history has been significant with participation in campaigns around the world, while flying various fighter aircraft. Reactivated at Eglin on 1 April 1965 with F-4C Phantom IIs, the wing operated, successively, F-4D and E models into the 1970s before transitioning to the F-15 Eagle. As of 1 October 2009, the 33DFW transitioned to a training wing for the new F-35 Joint Strike Fighter JSF. The final F-15s assigned to the 33D departed the base in September 2009. As the first of its kind in the Department of Defense, the Joint Wing is responsible for F-35 JSF pilot and maintainer training for the Air Force, Marine Corps and the Navy. The first of 59 F-35s arrived from Fort Worth, Texas on 14 July 2011. 58th Fighter Squadron The 58th FS. Mighty Gorillas are authorized to operate 24 assigned F-35A aircraft, planning and executing a training curriculum in support of Air Force and international partner pilot training requirements. The F-35A is a conventional takeoff and landing low observable multi-role fighter aircraft, designed with fifth-generation sensors and weapons, and is able to perform air superiority, air interdiction and close air support missions. The F-35A made its first flight on 15 December 2006. VFA-101 The VFA-101, Grim Reapers, are authorized to operate 15 assigned F-35C aircraft, planning and executing a training curriculum in support of Navy aviator training requirements. The F-35C is a carrier-capable low-observable multi-role fighter aircraft. The F-35C bears structural modifications from the other variants, necessitated by the increased resiliency required for carrier operations. Topic: 53D Wing, 53WG. The 53WG is headquartered at Eglin and serves as the Air Force's focal point for operational test and evaluation of armament and avionics, aircrew training devices, chemical defense, aerial reconnaissance improvements, electronic warfare systems, and is responsible for the QF-4 Phantom II full-scale aerial target FSAT program and subscale drone programs located at at Tyndall Air Force Base, Florida. The wing tests every fighter, bomber, unmanned aerial vehicle, and associated weapon system in the Air Force inventory. The wing reports to the USAF Air Warfare Center at Nellis Air Force Base, Nevada, a direct reporting unit drew, to Headquarters, Air Combat Command ACC. Topic: 49th Test and Evaluation Squadron. 
squadron attached to the 53d wing but located at Barksdale Air Force Base Louisiana the squadron plans executes and reports ACC's weapon system evaluation programs for bombers B52 B1 and B2 and nuclear capable fighters F15E Strike Eagle and F16 these evaluations include operational effectiveness and suitability, command and control, performance of aircraft hardware and software systems, employment tactics, and accuracy and reliability of associated precision weapons. These weapons include air-launched cruise missiles, standoff missiles, and gravity bombs. Results and conclusions support acquisition decisions and development of war plans. The unit also performs operational testing on new systems and tactics development for the B-52. <laughs> Armament Directorate The Armament Directorate, located at Eglin Air Force Base, Florida, is responsible for management of air and ground dominance weapon system programs. Led by the Air Force Program Executive Officer for Weapons, the Directorate concurrently reports to the Secretary of the Air Force for Acquisition, Washington, D.C. and the Air Force Life Cycle Management Center, Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, Ohio. Air Force Research Laboratory Munitions Directorate AFRL, RW. AFRL, RW develops, demonstrates, and transitions science and technology for air-launched munitions for defeating ground-fixed, mobile, relocatable, air and space targets to assure pre-eminence of U.S. air and space forces. The Directorate conducts basic research, exploratory development, and advanced development and demonstrations. It also participates in programs focused on technology transfer, dual-use technology and small business development. Topic. 7th Special Forces Group 7th SFG. In 2011, the United States Army's 7th Special Forces Group relocated to a newly constructed cantonment on the Eglin Air Force Base Reservation from Fort Bragg, as part of the 2005 Base Realignment and Closure round realigning Fort Bragg. It is tasked with conducting special operations in Latin America. Topic. Tenant units Tenant units at an Air Force installation are units which have a mission that is significantly different than that of the host unit, and rely heavily upon the host unit for day-to-day -day operations sewer, power, security, recreation. Topic. 6th Ranger Training Battalion 6th RTB Eglin AFB Auxiliary Field No. 6 Bianker Field is the site of Camp James E. Rudder and the home of the U.S. Army's 6th Ranger Training Battalion. The 6th RTB conducts the final phase of the U.S. Army Ranger course. The entire course is 61 days long and is divided into three phases. Each phase is conducted at different geographical and environmental locations. Topic: 20th Space Control Squadron, 20 SCS. 
The mission of the 20 SCS is to detect, track, identify, and report near-Earth and deep space objects in Earth's orbit, and provide space object identification data in support of United States Strategic Command's Space Control Mission. A unit of the Air Force Space Command AFSPC, the men and women of the 20th SCS operate and maintain the AN, FPS-85 radar, the Air Force's only phased array radar dedicated to tracking Earth orbiting objects. Topic: 323 Squadron RNLAF Royal Netherlands Air Force Operational Test and Evaluation Squadron, operates two F-35A. Topic: 486th Flight Test Squadron, 486th FLTS. This unit, which is apparently not a test squadron at all, operates Boeing C-32Bs in discrete missions for the United States Department of State's Foreign Emergency Support Team. Topic: 919th Special Operations Wing, 919 SAO. The 919 SAO, located about 5 miles 8 km south of Crestview and 32 km 20 miles from Eglin, Maine at Eglin AFB Auxiliary Field No. 3 Duke Field and is the only Special Operations Wing in the Air Force Reserve Command AFRC. In wartime or a contingency, the 919 SAO reports to Air Force Special Operations Command AFSOC at Hurlburt Field, Florida, its gaining major command. <laughs> AFOTEC DET-2 The Air Force Operational Test and Evaluation Center stood up Detachment 2 at Eglin to provide realistic operational testing for new and modified weapon systems. <laughs> <laughs> Joint Deployable Analysis Team JDAT. Directorate of the Joint Staff, JDAT conducts field analysis of C-2 information systems and procedures producing decision quality data to improve joint C-2 integration and interoperability. Topic. Naval School of Explosive Ordnance Disposal EOD. The Naval School of Explosive Ordnance Disposal -E is a Navy-managed command, jointly staffed by Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marine Corps personnel. NAVSCOLEOD opened its new consolidated training facility in April 1999. History Topic: <creation>, Creation and World War II Much of the base was part of a national forest until the outbreak of war in Europe when a proving ground for aircraft armament was established at Eglin. The U.S. Forest Service ceded over 340,000 acres of the Choctahatchee National Forest to the War Department on 18 October 1940. 
Eglin Air Force Base evolved from the 1933 creation of the Valparaiso Airport, when an arrowhead-shaped parcel of 137 acres (0.55 square kilometers) was cleared for use as an airdrome. In 1931, personnel of the Air Corps Tactical School, newly relocated to Maxwell Field, Alabama, sought a location for a bombing and gunnery range. They saw the potential of the sparsely populated forested areas surrounding Valparaiso and the vast expanse of the adjacent Gulf of Mexico. From October 1941 to October 1945, an AAF fixed gunnery school operated at the base, supervised by the 75th Flying Training Wing. At its peak during World War II, the base employed more than 1,000 officers, 10,000 enlisted personnel and 4,000 civilians. <laughs> Post-war After the war, Eglin became a pioneer in developing the techniques for missile launching and handling, and the development of drone or pilotless aircraft beginning with the Republic Ford JB-2 Loon, an American copy of the V-1. The first experimental guided missiles group was activated at Eglin Field, Florida, on 6 February 1946, operating out of Auxiliary Field 3. By March 1950, the 550th Guided Missiles Wing, comprising the 1st and 2nd Guided Missile Squadrons, had replaced the first experimental guided missiles group. The second guided missile squadron, SSM, had 62 pilots manning 14 B-17s, 3 B-29s, and 4 F-80 shooting stars, yellow-tailed drone aircraft used in the role of testing guided missiles. In December 1955, the Air Munitions Development Laboratory was reassigned from the Wright Air Development Center at Wright-Patterson AFB, Ohio, to the Air Force Armament Center at Eglin by Headquarters Air Research and Development Command. The responsibility for development of guns, bombs, rockets, fuses, guided missile warheads and other related equipment in the armament field was transferred from the Dayton, Ohio facility at this time. Work on nuclear weapons was not included in this mission. Topic: 1960s The USAF Special Air Warfare Center was activated 27 April 1962, with the first Combat Applications Group organized as a combat systems development and test agency under the SAWC. The first CAG concentrated on testing and evaluation of primarily short-term projects which might improve Air Force counterinsurgency operations. The Special Air Warfare Center, located at Hurlburt Field, undertook to develop tactical air doctrine while training crews for special air warfare in places like Southeast Asia. By mid-1963, SAW groups were in Vietnam and Panama. The USAF Tactical Air Warfare Center was activated on 1 November 1963. It would be re-designated as the USAF Air Warfare Center on 1 October 1991, with the increasing U.S. involvement in Southeast Asia in the 1960s, the need for increased emphasis on conventional weapons development made Eglin's mission even more important. On 1 August 1968, the Air Proving Ground Center was redesignated the Armament Development and Test Center to centralize responsibility for research, development, test and evaluation, and initial acquisition of non-nuclear munitions for the Air Force. On 1 October 1979, the center was given division status. 
The Armament Division, redesignated Munitions Systems Division on 15 March 1989, placed into production the precision guided munitions for the laser, television, and infrared guided bombs, two anti armor weapon systems, and an improved hard target weapon, the GBU 28, used in Operation Desert Storm during the Persian Gulf War. The division was also responsible for developing the Advanced Medium Range Air to Air Missile, AMRAM, an Air Force led joint project with the U.S. Navy. <laughs> Late Cold War era The Air Force Armament Museum was founded on base in 1975. In 1981 the original building housing the museum was condemned and the facility closed until 1984. Selected on 27 April 1975, the installation served as one of four main U.S. Vietnamese refugee processing centers operated by the Interagency Task Force for Indochina Refugees, where base personnel housed and processed more than 10,000 Southeast Asian refugees, the first 374 of which arrived on board a Northwest Orient Boeing 747 on 4 May 1975, in 1978, the USAF Tactical Air Warfare Center assumed responsibility for the USAF Air Ground Operations School. In the same year, the Electronic Warfare Evaluation Program became another one of the USAF TAWC's Weapons System Evaluation Programs, and resulted in the activation of the 4,487th Electronic Warfare Aggressor Squadron in 1990. Construction began in 1984 on the Bob Hope Village, the only retirement facility that caters to enlisted military opening in February 1985. Residents pay below market value for the 256 independent apartments. Colonel Bob Gates, Bob Hope's USO pilot, was key in getting the comedian's support for the undertaking, as well as lending his name to the project. He was named an honorary board member of the foundation in 1978 and held benefit concerts for nearly two decades. <laughs> Post-Cold War During a 1992 reorganization, the Air Force disestablished Eglin's parent major command, Air Force Systems Command and merged its functions with the former Air Force Logistics Command the newly created Major Command from this merger, Air Force Material Command AFMC, remains Eglin's parent command to this day. The Development Test Center, Eglin's host unit, became part of AFMC on 30 June 1992. The 46th Test Wing replaced the 3,246th Test Wing in October 1992. On 10 August 1994 construction began on the All Conflicts Veterans War Memorial on the site of the Old POW, MIA Memorial on the western end of Eglin Boulevard. The memorial was dedicated on 15 August 1995. As part of the military drawdown in the 1990s, the Air Force inactivated the 33d Fighter Wing's 59th Fighter Squadron on 15 April 1999. The wing lost six aircraft and consolidated the remaining aircraft into the 58th and 60th Fighter Squadrons. Originally selected for inactivation in 1997, Air Force officials delayed the decision in recognition of the Nomad's connection with Kobar Towers. The 59th reactivated as the 59th Test and Evaluation Squadron on 3 December 2004, at Nellis Air Force Base, Nevada. 
The 59th falls under the 53rd Test Management Group at Eglin. In July 2012, the Air Armament Center (AAC) was inactivated. The center had planned, directed and conducted test and evaluation of U.S. and Allied air armament, navigation and guidance systems, and commanded and controlled systems. It operated two Air Force installations, providing host support not only to Eglin, but also Kirtland AFB, New Mexico. It had included the Armament Product Directorate Eglin AFB, FL, the 46th Test Wing Eglin AFB, FL, the 96th Air Base Wing Eglin AFB, FL, and the 377th Air Base Wing Kirtland AFB, NM. Topic: <laughs> Base Railroad Initial construction of a railroad line into the region had been discussed as early as 1927 as part of the Choctahatchee and Northern Railroad, though military use proposals didn't come forward until 1941. German POWs were used in clearing and grading the alignment during World War II. There was one commercial customer served by the line, a lumber pulp yard at Niceville which is now Community Athletic Fields. The line was later abandoned in the late 1970s and the southern end, west of State Road 285, lifted by the mid-1980s. Previous names. Established as Valparaiso Bombing and Gunnery Base, the 14th of June 1935. Spelling changed on the 1st of February 1937 from Valparaiso to Valparaiso, and on the 1st of March 1937 back to Valparaiso, Eglin Field, the 4th of August 1937. Eglin Field Military Reservation, the 1st of October 1940. Eglin Field, the 28th of December 1944. Eglin Air Force Base, the 24th of June 1948 present. Topic: Major commands to which assigned. Air Corps Training Center, the 9th of June 1935 to the 27th of August 1940. Southeast Air Corps Training Center, the 27th of August 1940 to the 1st of April 1942, also assigned to Commanding General, 4th Corps Area, United States Army, June 1941 to the 1st of April 1942, Chief of the Army Air Corps, direct subordination, the 19th of May 1941 to the 1st of April 1942. AAF Proving Ground Command asterisk asterisk the 1st of April 1942 to the 1st of June 1945 AAF Center the 1st of June 1945 redesignated AAF Proving Ground Command the 8th of March 1946 Redesignated Air Proving Ground Command, the 10th of July 1946 to the 20th of January 1948. Air Materiel Command, the 20th of January 1948 to the 1st of June 1948. Air Proving Ground, the 1st of June 1948. Redesignated Air Proving Ground Command, the 20th of December 1951 to the 1st of December 1957. Air Research and Development Command, the 1st of December 1957. Redesignated Air Force Systems Command, the 1st of April 1961 to the 1st of July 1992. Air Force Materiel Command. The 1st of July 1992 present asterisk asterisk discontinued the 8th of March 1946.
not related to later AAF Proving Ground Command. Topic: <laughs> Major units assigned. Topic: <laughs> Eglin Auxiliary Fields. A number of auxiliary fields were constructed on the Eglin Reservation during World War II, many of which are still in service in various roles, either in support of flight operations or special test activities. Auxiliary Field 1 Wagner Field work on Auxiliary Field 1 began 27 November 1940. Auxiliary Field 1 is named Wagner Field for Maj. Walter J. Wagner, former commanding officer for the first proving ground, Eglin Field, who was killed 19 October 1943 in the crash of a Douglas XA-26B, S. N. 41195889 9 miles east of Eglin Field, Valparaiso, F. L. Much of the Doolittle Raid and Operation Credible Sport training took place here. The U.S. Navy used the field as an auxiliary facility for pilot training out of Whiting Field for a time, dating from early 1960. A proposal by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration to build a multi-million dollar research installation for testing rocket fuels and components at Field 1 in early 1960 was dropped in mid-February, the chief reason for consideration being abandoned was the possibility the military would have other uses for the field in the near future. It is also known as Site C-5. Range C-72 extends SE from Wagner Field, Auxiliary Field 2 Pierce Field Auxiliary Field 2 is named Pierce Field for Lt. Col. George E. Pierce, killed 19 October 1942 while piloting a North American B-25C-1 Mitchell which crashed into the Gulf of Mexico 3.2 km 2 miles s of Destin, Florida. Joe Bauer cites date of 19 October 1942 for loss. It is also known as Site C-3. Between November 1966 and 1970, it was the site of the 560th Civil Engineering Squadron, also known as the Civil Engineering Field Activities Center, for the training of Red Horse personnel. Auxiliary Field 3 Duke Field Auxiliary Field 3 is named Duke Field for 1st LT Robert L. Duke, killed in the crash of a Curtis A25A 20CS. Strike near Spencer, Tennessee, on the 29th of December 1943. He was assigned as assistant A3 of Eglin Field, used as the set for the fictional 918th Bomb Group in the 1949 film 12 O'Clock High. Field 3 was long associated with drone operations of the 3,200th and 3,205th drone groups. Aircraft were sanitized, stripped of all identification here for the failed Bay of Pigs invasion of Cuba, Auxiliary Field 4 Peel Field Auxiliary Field 4 is named Peel Field for 2nd Lieutenant Garland O. Peel Jr., who died in the takeoff crash of a Martin B-12 AM of the 387th School Squadron, 2 January 1942, when he suffered engine failure. He was a gunnery school instructor at Eglin. Peel Field was utilized for the filming of scenes for the 1944 film 30 Seconds Over Tokyo. Wartime temporary housing for NCOs located here was raised in the 1960s. In the early 1960s, while in a moribund state, one of the runways was used as an unofficial auto-drag strip by local civilians. 
The ramp of the non-flight rated facility now serves as a vehicle park for aircraft and armor after being expended as targets on the Eglin Ranges. Auxiliary Field 5, Piccolo Field. Auxiliary Field 5 is named Piccolo Field for Capt. Anthony D. Piccolo, who died in the crash of a North American AT-6ANT Texan on the 6th of October 1942. Piccolo was the commanding officer of the 386th Single Engine Gunnery Training Squadron at Eglin. Today, the area is due north of Field 4 and serves as a microwave station. A 60-foot radar antenna was installed here in April 1961. On most base maps, it is identified as Site C4. Doolittle raid training was conducted here. Auxiliary Field 6, Bianker Field. Auxiliary Field 6 is named Bianker Field for First Lieutenant Andrew Bianker, a test pilot of the medium bombardment section of the First Proving Ground Group, killed the 8th of January 1944 in the crash of a Northrop YP61NO Black Widow at Eglin Field. The U.S. Army Ranger Facility Camp Rudder is located here. It is designated Site B-6. The X-43ALS low-speed demonstrator underwent testing out of Auxiliary Field 6 in November 2003. Auxiliary Field 7 Epler Field Auxiliary Field 7 is named Epler Field for call. Robin E. Epler, Deputy Commander Technical of the Air Proving Ground Command, Eglin Field, Florida, killed 28 January 1944 in the crash of a Douglas A-20G-10DO Havoc 1 mile 1 .6 km nay of Crestview, Florida. It is designated Site B-12, Auxiliary Field 8 Baldseafen Field Auxiliary Field 8 is named Baldseafen Field for 2nd Lieutenant Richard Edward Baldseafen, a gunnery instructor at Eglin, killed 4 March 1942 along with Lieutenant John W. Smith, in the crash of a North American AT-6A NA Texan which came down at Auxiliary Field 4. It is designated Site C-52C, Auxiliary Field 9 Hurlbert Field Auxiliary Field 9 is named Hurlbert Field for Lt. Donald Wilson Hurlbert, killed 1 October 1943 when his Lockheed AT-18LO Hudson gunnery trainer crashed during takeoff at Eglin. After flying Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress combat missions from Great Britain and receiving the Distinguished Flying Cross DFC, Hurlbert was assigned in mid-1943 to the first Proving Ground Electronics Test Unit at Eglin Field. Field 9 was named in his honor by Base Commander General Grandison Gardner. Hurlbert's nephew was Captain Craig D. Button noted for his mysterious flight and crash of an A-10 Thunderbolt on 2 April 1997. An official history of Eglin AFB's early years cites 2 October 1943 as the date of this accident. Auxiliary Field 10 Dillon Field Auxiliary Field 10 is the westernmost of the wartime Eglin airfields, located in Santa Rosa County, and is named Dillon Field for Capt. Barkley H. Dillon, test pilot of the fighter section of the first Proving Ground Group, killed 2 October 1943 when his Lockheed P-38J-5 LO Lightning crashed 13 km 8 miles w of Milton, Florida. Field 10 was later named Eglin Dillon Airdrome. Now used primarily for U.S. Navy basic flight training, the Navy refers to it as Choctaw Naval Outlying Field 
It is also used for unmanned aerial vehicle UAV training, and it is expected that F-35 Lightning IIs assigned to the 33D fighter wing at Eglin Air Force Base will utilize OLF Choctaw for training. Auxiliary Field 11 is an unconfirmed name for a red horse unsurfaced east-west airstrip that shows up on Google Earth in Walton County. The Santa Rosa Island Range Complex is part of the Eglin Overwater Range that provides 86,500 square miles of overwater airspace that is jointly used for a variety of test and evaluation activities and training exercises. Demographics Eglin employs more than 8,500 civilians and approximately 4,500 military, with an additional 2,200 jobs due to move to Eglin under the 2005 BRAC. As of the census of 2000, there were 8,082 people, 2,302 households, and 2,262 families residing on the base. The population density was 2640.1 people per square mile, 1019.8 per square kilometers. There were 2320 housing units at an average density of 757.9 per square miles, 292.7 per square kilometers. The racial makeup of the base was 71.8% white, 14.8% black or African American, 0.5% Native American, 3.0% Asian, 0.4% Pacific Islander, 4.2% from other races, and 5.3% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 11.2% of the population. There were 2,302 households out of which 79.8% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 89.8% were married couples living together, 5.2% had a female householder with no husband present, and 1.7% were non-families. 1.6% of all households were made up of individuals and 0.0% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 3.50 and the average family size was 3.51. On the base the population was spread out with 43.5% under the age of 18, 15.2% from 18 to 24, 39.6% from 25 to 44, 1.6% from 45 to 64, and 0.1% who are 65 years of age or older. The median age was 22 years. For every 100 females, there were 100.6 males. The median income for a household on the base was $31,951, and the median income for a family was $31,859. Males had a median income of $25,409 versus $19,176 for females. The per capita income for the base was $10,670. About 4.5% of families and 4.5% of the population were below the poverty line, including 4.5% of those under the age of 18 and none of those 65 and older. <laughs> National historic status There are two U.S. National Historic Landmark districts with connections to the base, Camp Pinchot and Eglin Field. 
On 6 October 1997, the McKinley Climatic Laboratory was added to the U.S. National Register of Historic Places. Notable residents Author Hunter S. Thompson was stationed on Eglin from 1956 until 1958 during his enlistment with the Air Force. Infielder J. Bell was born in the base hospital in 1965. NASCAR Monster Energy Cup Series driver Eric Almirola was born in Eglin in 1984. <laughs> Eglin AFB in pop culture Movies that have been filmed in part at Eglin Air Force Base or its outlying auxiliary airfields, 30 seconds over Tokyo in 1944, 12 o'clock high in 1949, on the threshold of space in 1955 and search for paradise in 1956. 13 airmen assigned to the 48th Recovery Squadron played a part in the James Bond movie Thunderball. The airmen, all highly skilled paratroopers, assisted in a sky diving scene filmed in Miami Beach. They jumped out of an HC-97 in Biscayne Bay at an altitude of 1,500 feet. A quote from TSGT Lewis Roberts said. We played the good guys and were helping James Bond destroy the villains who were about to blow up the East Coast." Several Tom Clancy novels refer to, "...raking the sand traps on the office's golf course." At Eglin as a common activity for low security prisoners at the Associated Federal Prison Camp, Eglin, now closed. F-15 Eagles from Eglin's 33rd Fighter Wing 59th Fighter Squadron, were used in the filming of the 1997 movie Air Force One. Eglin AFB appears as the default airport in the simulation software Prepar 3D. Topic. Climate. Warm, subtropical weather lasts longer than the average summer. The annual precipitation ranges from 25 to 60 inches 640 to 1520 mm. Year-round, the average temperatures run January to March, 60 to 69 high and 42 to 51 low. April to June, 76 to 88 high and 58 to 72 low. July to September, 86 to 98 high and 70 to 77 low. October to December, 63 to 79 high and 44 to 69 low. The area gets only 50 to 60 days of annual precipitation or more rainfall. There are few days without sunshine, which allows year-round outdoor activities. Topic: Environment. The forests and shores of Eglin Air Force Base are at the center of one of the most biodiverse locations in North America. Over 50 species threatened in Florida are found on the base, including sea turtles that nest on its white sand beaches and red cockaded woodpeckers that thrive in its longleaf pine forests. The base has a natural resources management team that constantly monitors important species within the base with the goal of balancing their national defense mission with environmental stewardship. 
Longleaf pine forest, a forest type reduced to 5% of its former range in the last few centuries, covers 200,000 acres 810 square kilometers of the base. Part of this forest, 6,795 acres (27.50 square kilometers), is old growth, making the base home to one of the most extensive old growth longleaf pine forests in the world. In order to deal with the high noise levels of the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II, officials from Santa Rosa, Okaloosa, and Walton counties are studying which homes, businesses, and public buildings will require additional noise protection. Topic: <inaudible> Civil rocketry. Eglin Air Force Base was also a launch site for civil rockets of NASA. There are 3 launch pads, one at 29.6700N, 85.3700W at Cape San Blas, and two on Santa Rosa Island at 30.3800N, 86.7400W and 30.3800N, 86.8170W rockets launched here have included arc Nikes, Nike Cajun, Nike Apaches, and Nike Iroquois. This site was formerly operated by the 4,751st ADMs with CIM-10 Bowmarks, which inactivated in 1979. In the 1940s, captured V-1 flying bombs and American copies, Republic Ford JB-2 loons, were launched out over the Gulf of Mexico from these sites. Two concrete launch ramps were placed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1996. A rusting loon launch ramp still exists at Auxiliary Field 1, Wagner Field. Eglin is known to have been used for 441 launches from 1959 to 1980, reaching up to 686 km altitude. See also Air Force Armament Museum Camp Pinchot Historic District Choctahatchee National Forest Federal Prison Camp, Eglin Florida World War II Army Airfields Fort Walton Beach Crestview Destin, Florida Metropolitan Statistical Area Gorgon Stair Recon Sensor Cobar Towers List of accidents and incidents involving military aircraft List of aircraft accidents at Eglin Air Force Base Destin Fort Walton Airport previously Northwest Florida Regional Airport co-located with Eglin AFB Rocket launch sites equals <laughs> equals notes <laughs>